Hey everybody, Jason Moss here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a catch-all email address in your G Suite account, okay? Unfortunately, Google makes it somewhat difficult to make these, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is have your G Suite open, okay? Now you're going to come over to these nine dots on the right-hand side. And a lot of times you're going to have to click the more section to find it, but I've, I've moved it up here. And it, this is the admin area. Okay, you're going to go into your admin of your G Suite. Now remember, you have to be like an administrator of your G Suite to actually do this. Okay, so if you're just a normal user, you're going to have to have admin permissions. Once you are here, you're going to go over to apps. Wait for it to load. The next thing you're, you're going to want to click on is G Suite. And then you're going to click on Gmail. All right, once you're here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Click on Advanced Settings. Wait for this to load. And once you are here, you're going to go all the way down until you find the routing section. Okay. Once you're on the routing section, you're going to want this area. You kind of just hover over it, come over to the right hand side and hit configure. You're going to have this uh, dialog box pop up. Okay. Now this is where you input all your settings. I don't know why Google doesn't have it just be one little click. Um, you have to do this the right way. Okay, the first thing you want to do in the messages to effect, you want the inbound and you want the internal receiving. Okay, because these are emails coming in. All right. Um, now you come on down here. And you want the envelope recipient. Okay. Click on this box here, replace recipient. Now you're going to put in the email that you want these to go to. All right. Um, so I want mine all to go to me. So essentially, if there's any typos out there, people entering my email address wrong, or if I ever want to put out there like uh, help at mostech.org or support at mostech.org, and I don't actually want the mailbox to exist, I can still put those email addresses out there. I can list them out there. And all those emails, doesn't matter where they go to, as long as they're at mostech.org, they're all going to come to jason at mostech.org. So you put that in there, and then you come all the way down to the bottom and click on show options. All right, open this up, unclick users, and click on catch all. Okay. And I forgot one thing at the top. At the top, you're going to want to enter in just a, uh, a description of what you're doing. Okay. I just named these catch all. So if I ever come across it, I know exactly what it is. All right. Once that is done, go ahead and add, click on add setting. And you are finished. That is it. Um, it usually happens pretty quick. Um, as you can see down here at the bottom, it says sometimes it takes time to propagate to all users. I have had it take a couple hours, but now if anybody sends me a random email at mostech.org, whether it's a typo or help or support or info or whatever it might be, and it's not an actual email box that I have, okay, it's all going to come to Jason at mostech.org. So I hope that helps out. Um, hope that makes sense. If you have questions, just leave a comment below and uh, let me know. Thanks.